So this video we're gonna see how to group by a particular report. First of all, what is group by? Yeah. Example. So uh, the report that we have created, if I remove the filter that I have added, right? This particular filter equals to a stage equals to closed own, right? Let me just go and delete this filter. What will happen now? Without this filter, I'm gonna see all the data stage could be closed own closed loss lean need analysis decision maker and everything correct let's say i have closed own 18 records closed lost 20 records prospecting 50 records what if i want to see the data grouped by stage okay let me just quickly create it and show you how it looks like this is something we use for most of the um, a reporting requirement right whatever the customer need is if you go to outline you have something called group by okay so you can actually group by with any field i'm gonna go and do this group by with field called stage now check this out if i run the report the report is now very easy to understand so let me just explain this report view page see with stage prospecting I have one record with stage qualification I have two records and this is the two records like testing formula and this is the second record with stage need analysis I have two record this is the first one OPP3 this is the second one get it and like that with stage um, closed own I have 18 records and these are the data you get it right so closed I mean group by is something is going to help you to group the data so that the, da the data is not being haphazard. You as a business user, if you want to see all the qualification data in, in the same place, just go here and check it out. That's the use of group by. Okay. The moment you group by a report, there's one luxury that you get with group by. Okay. If you have group by a report with any field, right? Um, basically, most of the time we do a group by with pick list, like stage is a pick list, right? The moment you group by it right you see a button called add chart so what you can do is this report which shows the data perfectly you can actually add a chart also to define the report data and it looks like this if you click on add chart see this is the chart what do you mean by chart by the way so chart always have like two axes x and y hmm? x axis will have the field that you have grouped by y axis will have the count so with the uh, group by field which is stage correct the first stage prospecting i have total one records stage name qualification i have two records stage name need analysis i have three two records closed own i have 18 records close lost one record you get it right so a uh, chart is always a combination of x and y axis and x axis will have your grouped by field and y axis will have the count and this is the best thing in lightning you can actually uh, have uh, different different charts like this is the bar chart and uh, i like this column chart it look like this right and you can change it to line chart which looks like this or donut like this or funnel right so based on the business uh, requirement you can not only create a report but when you add the report with a group by uh, field you can actually add a chart on top of the report as well okay so chart adding a chart is only possible when you have a field which is grouped by okay let me show you this i'll just go and edit it okay see this report had a chart which i have added okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the group by see this this report has been grouped by with only stage I can group by with multiple field as well which I'm going to show you after this but if I remove this group by see you cannot add chart the add chart button over here has been disabled you can't add any chart because this report has not been grouped by okay so you can actually group by with multiple uh, fields in that way the report looks little more complex to read but it gives you a lot of idea right so let's say 
I want to group by this report with uh, not only stage but also with opportunity type. So I have grouped by this report with two fields, stage and type. And let me run this report and explain how it looks like. If you see here, I have total 34 records with stage prospecting and type nothing like type, type blank is only one data. Okay. With stage qualification and again type blank, I have one record. I have two record actually. See so qualification stage and type blank. I have two records. Okay. And uh, with stage value proposition and type existing customer, I have two records one and two. You get it? So this is how you can group by with multiple fields. I'm going to give you a real requirements. Okay. A few days back, one of my customer who was actually capturing so many leads every day, thousands of leads were getting created in their Salesforce org. And what they wanted is basically they wanted to uh, group by the report with state and city right they the business they were running it from india only so they have like uh, 15 different cities right and uh, like five to six different states they were running their uh, business so they wanted to see the report grouping by first state and then city for an example let's say in india we have a state called karnataka right and we have a city called bangalore so state name Karnataka, city Bangalore, this many record. State name, let's say West Bengal, city Kolkata, we have this many records. Make sense? So this group by is really very helpful for the customer to understand, to analyze the data in the proper way. And the moment you group by, you can add a chart. If you see here, this time I have group by the report with stage and type. Now I told you, right, a chart is what? Chart is basically X and Y axis. X axis will be your group by field and Y axis will be the count. In this case, I have group by with two different fields. So let me go and add a chart and show you how it looks like. If you go to the chart, if you go to this chart, right, I just edited the same report and I'm there in the chart, right? I can click on this, uh, the setting, right? And if you scroll down, this is the Y axis. Y axis has the, actually I've told you the opposite, right? Y axis will have the, um, the group by field and X axis will actually have the record count and X axis will always have the record count. Y axis, you have two options because you have group by with stage and type, you can actually select what to show in the Y axis. If you have select type, see this with existing customer, I have total how many 11 records with type blank. I have total three records with type new customers, five records. Got it now? So this is how you can actually use. This is how you can actually use group by to not only grouping by a particular report, but also to show different, different charts uh, to analyze the report in a detailed way. Okay. You have a couple of check boxes like show values. See if you click on show values, right? You, you immediately see the values over here. And because I have grouped by this report with two different um, fields, I can actually show uh, both the field over here in the Y axis. So I have already selected a uh, type over here. If I click on group, see I can show here stage as well. So if you see here, type this, okay, and stage this, these are the data. Okay, so the simple and the useful uh, reports that I would say is grouping by the report with a particular field. Okay, so it, it for an example, for another example, let's say we have leads, okay, and lead has a field called a uh, status, and status is like hot warm and cold and business wanted to see all the lead grouped by the status so it will show you okay for cold i have 1100 leads with status warm i have 1500 leads and these are the details grouping by a column is what helps you to create a, a report which justify all the data nicely with a chart as well okay so i'm gonna remove this type grouping here remove group and this is how the report looks like. 
so now uh, another feature that you can um, do inside the report is this report column that you see it's all uh, you can actually sort it suppose i have created date and i want to see the recently created date in the top right so just click on this it will be either ascending or in descending order so this is how the reports in lightning user interface looks like okay i'm going to show you how to create reports in classic version okay and in classic version you have a little more extra options and uh, you might find the the classic version is pretty much simpler than this lightning one okay so next video i'm going to show you the same thing how to create the folders the reports and the different types of report in salesforce classic by the way it doesn't matter that you as an admin whether you are creating the report in lightning or classic both gives you the same result right so i'm like i'm using salesforce since last uh, 10 years and uh, classic is something i was pretty much comfortable right i am pretty much comfortable so what i do sometime right i i do create the report and uh, the the dashboard i don't prefer to create the dashboard in lightning or classic because dashboard has a lot of extra options in lightning but definitely the reports i create in classic and i make sure that my customers the business user they view the report from lightning right so it doesn't matter whether you're creating the report from lightning interface or um classic the user will be able to view it uh, from both this platform okay so see you in the next video